In this virtual simulation, we shall be learning how to build a nucleus of an atom. As we know, atoms are composed of protons and neutrons in their nucleus, with electrons orbiting around this nucleus. The number of protons in the nucleus dictates what element the atom is. For example, all atoms with six protons in their nucleus are carbon atoms. The number of neutrons in the nucleus can vary, however, this is what gives rise to isotopes. Isotopes are atoms of the same element that have a different number of neutrons in their nucleus. The number of protons in the nucleus also dictates the atom's atomic number. The atomic number is simply the number of protons in the nucleus. This number determines how the atom will interact with other atoms, as well as what properties the atom will have. The number of neutrons in the nucleus affects the atom's mass. A carbon atom with 6 neutrons in its nucleus will have a mass of 12, 6 protons plus 6 neutrons. This is because the mass of a neutron is slightly greater than the mass of a proton. The more neutrons an atom has, the greater its mass will be. The number of neutrons in the nucleus also affects the atom's stability. The more neutrons an atom has, the greater chance there is for the neutron to decay. This is because the neutron is an unstable particle. When the neutron decays, it emits a radioactive particle. This can be dangerous if the atom is in close proximity to humans. In summary, the number of protons in the nucleus determines the element, the number of neutrons determines the mass and stability of the atom, and the number of electrons determines the atom's properties. If you like this virtual simulation, kindly leave your comment below and I will send the link free of charge to you. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video.